In December 1954, many people gathered in a high school auditorium in a small city in Eugene, Oregon, including Mr. and Mrs. Harry and Bertha Holt, who later became founders of Holt Children's Services, Incorporated. That night, there was a screening of a documentary film called Lost Sheep, which covered the horrific lives of Korean war orphans. Following the film screening, a special lecture was delivered by Bob Pierce, a missionary, and he appealed to the listeners to offer helping hands to those in need. Since then, the Holt family began sponsoring 13 children. However, Mr. Holt could not put the war orphans in the film out of his mind and wanted to give more help in any way possible. Bertha Holt felt the same way. She also believed what those children needed were more than food and clothes, but family's love. Mr. Holt, who recovered six months after he nearly died from a heart attack five years ago, wholeheartedly prayed to God. Lord, since you have gave a new life, please allow me to share your love to me with others. Three months later, Harry Holt shared his prayers and heart with his wife. I would like to adopt orphans from Korea. I was thinking the same way. Uh, really? How many children do you think we could afford to adopt. I think I can take care of about six or eight children. But honey, I think we can afford more than six since we have enough rooms. So let's adopt eight children. Bertha gave thanks to the Lord for giving her husband the same thought she had in her heart. Harry and Bertha told their children about adopting Korean orphans. They were worried at first about a possible disagreement, but all the children were happy to have younger brothers and sisters. Mr. and Mrs. Holt thanked the Lord that their children were truly happy with their decision to adopt. Now that he knew what he wanted to do, Harry Holt completed the legal proceedings and headed to Korea. Korean war orphans lived in far worse circumstances than he ever imagined while in America. Mr. Holt did everything he could to take care of the suffering babies as well as his adoptive children and kept on finding ways to help the children. On October 12th, 1955, Mr. Holt and his adoptive children finally departed to the U.S. As the adoption by the Holts received media attention from across the nation, letters inquiring about overseas adoption poured in every day. Later, Mr. Holt believed that it was his calling from God to find warm families for more children in need and established Holt Adoption Program, now known as Holt Children's Services Incorporated, with a belief that every child deserves a home of his own. Harry Holt devoted his whole life to helping orphans and disabled children until he passed away at the Ilsan Center in 1964.